What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this uh, stadium styled seating or a ellipse shaped auditorium also people call this an egg shaped auditorium but anyway basically it's seating in shape of an ellipse and I'm going to be showing you how to create this in the simplest easiest way possible but before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media as well. And one more thing, if you want to get the families and the projects that I'm going to be creating in this video, as well as all of my project files so far, please check out my Patreon first link in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to be using the architectural template for this project as it is the simplest to use. And let's just change the units first. So I'm just going to be changing them to centimeters for this project. You can use meters or if you're using uh, imperial units, that's okay as well. So anyway, this is the project. And first thing I like to do is I like to create a little bit of a sketch using some, uh, some of these detail lines you have over here. So you just go here to annotation tab and you find a detail line or you can use the shortcut DL, so just type in DL, and here you go, so you've got some detail lines. And now I ju I'm just going to be using the ellipse tool and just click here in the center of my project, kind of pull it out a bit like so, and then kind of shape it however you want it to be shaped. So let's, let's go with something like this. Now the thing about ellipses, you can't really create an array uh, uh, for seating in shape of an ellipse, it needs to be a circular array. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually bre be breaking up this ellipse into four, uh, into four arcs that are, and arcs are basically parts of a circle and you can make a circular, ar circular, circular array. Okay, so I'm just going to be continuing on with some detail lines. So again, DL is the shortcut and I'm just going to be finding the center. So just start from one end to the other, do the same thing here. So here we've got a center and then I'm just going to go from the middle of the, or from the center and go and kind of go like this. Basically finding the, uh, the edge over here maybe. Yeah, this works. Okay, so once I found this, this is actually going to be cutting the segments. So let me just mirror this to the other side. So just double M for uh, pick, mirror for pick axis. So just double M, select this line and you've got it. So now once I have this, uh, I can basically just uh, convert this into ellipses. So basically what I'm just going to be doing is I'm just going to go here to again detail line or again use the shortcut and create an arc starting from kind of this here point. Uh, now unfortunately Revit doesn't give us an intersection point between uh, an ellipse and the line so you just kind of have to eyeball it but never mind you can kind of make it more accurate later on. So let me just create something that looks like this. Yeah that looks fine. Then mirror that to the other side so DM for draw mirror and now go uh, again to detail line, arc, and you start off from this end point to this end point, and then you just finish it off over here. So kind of like that. Now we can already delete this ellipse and then go again, detail line, arc, start from here and there. And you're going to get this little snap that's going to help you kind of keep it in place. So it still looks like an ellipse. It's not a perfect ellipse but it's going to keep the shape that you want to have but also it can be divided into four of these arcs and that's what you want to have. Okay so now continuing on now we need to create the actual auditorium so how do you do that? Well uh, we can do it as an in place family I think that's the simplest way to go about it so just go here to architecture go to uh, component open up the drop menu go to model in place and for this, let's just choose a generic model. Generic models, one, who cares? The name isn't important. But anyway, so this auditorium, we're going to be creating it as a sweep. So just go solid sweep, go with sketch path, and then go with pick lines. You hover over one of these, hit the tab button, or if that doesn't work, then just pick the rest of them. Okay, and you just hit finish. And now you need to go to edit profile and for this I'm going to be going to the east elevation, open it up, here it is. And now let's start modeling. So it will be 40 centimeters, that's usually the height of a chair, 
by something like 80 centimeters so just go like that select this whole thing go to copy or use the shortcut co make sure you check multiple and then you go like this and then you see how many rows you want to have let's just make this a small auditorium kind of like this maybe one more row okay and now we need to close it off of course so just start like a line like this perhaps make it go like that okay this is bad okay this looks fine now so gonna go like that trim and extend let's trim this okay let's say this looks fine it doesn't have to be perfect for this project let's just go into 3d and now when we hit finish and again finish there you go so you've got your oval shaped uh, auditorium now of course we need to add seating to this so this isn't over and one more thing you can't really enter this auditorium so I like to add kind of a entrance points for the players of whichever sport is going to be going on in the middle or if it's a lecture hall but it probably won't be a lecture hall it looks like a stadium but anyway let's go to level one and go to create and you've got this reference plane over here or again use the shortcut rp and you just place it like this in the middle and you just give it a name i'm just going to name it a so it just has to have a name that's and the name isn't really important uh, you only care about names if you have like a bunch of these so you want to kind of distinguish between them but anyway let's go to south elevation and go to create void void extrusion and let's go with uh, pick a plane and pick a plane named reference plane a hit ok find the center point kind of pull out a line and then let's offset it by something like 80 centimeters let's make a big entrance and let's do an arc over here oops uh, delete that offset or make it zero and do something like this trim and extend you trim this you trim that and then you delete this and you connect this with a simple line over here anyway once this is done you just uh, hit enter you go to level one and you just extend it all the way here and all the way here go into 3d and now you need to cut it so just go here to cut delete that yeah and then again you select the void you select this and you've got both of those cuts okay so once this is finished uh, we can hit finish model and now let's go back into level one okay but as you can see over here in level one we can't see the whole auditorium so we need to go to the site plan to see the whole thing but in the site plan we can't see those lines so how do we fix that problem well you need to select everything then you go to filter check none then you check just the lines and you hit apply you hit go ok and then you go here to copy or copy to clipboard paste and then you paste to selected views and you just choose the site plan over here and now if we go to site plan there it is okay so once we've uh, uh, placed these lines over here and now we need to create the actual seating so i'm going to be modeling that as a separate family so just go to here to file new find family and now i'm just going to drop back a folder to go with uh, the metric library and if you want to use imperial you can just go ahead and use that so let me select here a generic model where is it okay here it is generic model and open that up and i'm just going to go to left or right elevation doesn't really matter and go with extrusion and let's just place a line like this and as you can see i've got this little dimension line so i want the seat to be 40 centimeters or 400 millimeters so i'm just going to draw that like that give it a little kind of a back rest or how, however you call that and then i'm just going to be using arc lines to give some shape to the to the actual seat so maybe create it like like that and maybe give it a, a bit of a lumbar support you want to have that of course then go up here kind of make it like that and then you just you just continue it here or you just connect it with a simple line and do the same thing here and then you can use fillet arc to kind of give it uh, just to finish off the, the complete shape okay this okay this works and let's finish it off over here so just kind of like that okay this looks really nice and now let's just finish this so set the extrusion end at 200 millimeters or or and minus 200 millimeters for the extrusion start and the end is 200 just hit finish okay we've got a problem over here 
Okay, let's just connect this with a line. Okay, we can't make a line that small, so going to extend this a bit, then connect this with lines. Okay, hopefully this will work. Yes. And let's just change the material. So uh, usually uh, let's use something like some blue. Let's see what we can find. Blue. Okay, yeah, this matte blue is really nice. So just use that. And once we have this family finished, we can now, and just go into 3D for a quick check. Everything looks nice. Let's uh, load it into the project. And uh, I, I like to go to site plan and now go to architecture component and there is our little uh, seating and let's just start off and place it somewhere over here but before we do that we need to add uh, centers of uh, these arcs so what does that basically mean so this arc needs to have a center point that's somewhere over here as you can see with this dimension line but we actually need to place it so you just need to go here to annotate detail line and you start off from here till uh, as you can see now it light lit up the the arc in the blue so that means this is perpendicular so do the same thing on the other side just move it around okay here it is it lit up in blue then you just trim and extend the r is the shortcut and you get to this point over here now you can just mirror that to the other side and now as you can see these are the center points of uh, these long arcs and for the short arcs these are the center points and that's uh, that's the important part you need to keep in mind and I'm actually just going to extend it a bit just to make it a bit more visible this line over here and now just go back to architecture component you've got your seating and you hover over the the line and you just hit space bar and now it kind of aligns to that bar so that's nice and let's place one here one here and as you can see it's going uh, underneath the seating because it's placed at uh, level one but don't worry we're going to be fixing that in just a moment so just go like that one more okay one more over here and there you go so we've got all of these now let's create a section over here that's going to help us align these so just go there okay and now you just need to move this, these up so you just select them you go uh, move or you just type in MV and you just move it up you do the same thing for the rest of them you just go move up and the same thing for the rest and one, once this is done you just go back to site plan you select all of these and you need to group them so you just go GP group Okay, it's just easier to model it around like that. And I'm just going to type in MM for mirror and just mirror it to the other side. And just in a moment, you'll see why I did this. So now let's just select all of, the, uh, all of these on this side and you go here to array or you can use the shortcut AR. And then you make sure you select the radial array and you make sure you go move to and then check last. And one more thing, you need to set the center of rotation. So you just go here to place and you select this over here, this center. And then if, for the number, let's go with something like, I don't know, let's go with 20 for this one and then we can change it if necessary. So you just make sure you start off from this line over here and then you move it all the way around to this center point where we have this kind of break. And there you go, this actually looks nice. Maybe we can add a few rows. So let's try 22, let's try 25, 30, maybe that's two, okay, 30 works. Then you select, oops, I accidentally went to the 3D, but yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, this looks great. So let's go back into site plan. You select all of these uh, groups and then I'm just going to remove from selection the, uh, the section. So you just uh, hold the shift key and then you can remove this and this uh, or this row as well and then you just type in mm for mirror you mirror it to the other side then you just again select everything and then you need to remove this thing this thing as well you remove this thing from selection and this group as well and then you go again mm for mirror with pick access and you mirror it to the other side and there you go so we've got most of the seating done let's just do the small arcs so select uh, this small arc and you go again with array you go with let's go with 20 now and let's go with last and just go place and now you select this 
here intersection over here and you go from here all the way to the other side kind of like let's see kind of like that okay this works and yeah let's try 30 okay 30 works better and now you just need to go over here and select all of those rows and don't worry if you select a few extra ones so you just go with this and just remove them from selection so I think this this is okay and here yeah we selected only the ones we need and again mm mirror it to the other side and there we go and now if we go into 3d this is what we get so this is a perfect auditorium so there you go that's the simplest way to create a auditorium in Revit and if you want to get this uh, whole project file and download it, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.